guys welcome back to another episode of graveyard creepers what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the creepy welder costume and uh, i've got four of these and i think i'm going to make all four of them different so this is going to be one of four and uh, we're just going to throw some paint on this see how it turns out try to make it a little creepy as much as possible and uh the other ones i've got some other ideas for so stay tuned for those what I'm going to use, I'm going to use some greens and yellows on this. I'm going to tip them. Anyway. And what I want to do is I want to try to keep the hard paint on the this tape, make the hard lines on this side, and leave the middle a little blackish. So we'll give her a good coat, a light coat, then we'll let it dry a little bit, then we'll hit it again. And how I'm doing this guys, I'm trying to stay on the tape as much as possible. And let the paint feather out onto the black. So we'll let that dry a few minutes, come back and hit it some more. Okay, so we let her tack up a little bit. Now we're going to hit her again, and I'm going to hit it with some greens, and come back with some yellows, and uh, some little bit of black. Like I said, guys, what I'm doing is I'm trying to stay on the tape and letting this blow over on it. So kind of all we're doing is doing a little bit of green and yellow fade. Candy 
striper. So once that dries up, we'll go back and we'll hit it with some black, give it some black splotches. And then when it dries, we'll put some clear coat on it to protect the paint. Alright, so what we're gonna do is take some of this tape off. Still a little wet, but I think it'll be fine. There you go guys, it looks something like that. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of this black. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of black and hit a couple spots on that, just kind of break up the yellow. Make it look like it's been a little used. Just hold it back. take this tape off and uh, let this dry real good then we're going to take retake that up just to glass then we will quick cut that and see what we got so far you can see that So we'll let that set up and we'll come back and we'll put some clear coat on that. All right guys, she's dried up pretty good. We're gonna hit that with some clear and uh, all done, I believe. I got some ideas for the other ones, so we're gonna make them different, different styles. shooting two videos today so uh, I did a review on the Dead Rabbit Studios uh, shrunken heads also uh, we are painting a um, Halloween costume 
Uh, I'm just now starting with the helmets. I'm still waiting on the aprons to come in, the coveralls, and the gloves. So stay tuned for that. We're going to ghoulish them up a little bit and try to make them. We're going to try. I'm going to make four of them. And I'm going to try to make them all different. And if you haven't watched my other video on me unboxing these helmets, you might want to go do that and put down in the comments that you want to win uh, one of these costumes. I will be giving one of these away on the the thousandth subscriber so I'll be giving away a full uh, creepy costume uh, a creepy welders costume when I hit my thousandth subscriber uh, it's gonna have everything I'm even going to thinking about putting a pack to it uh, with some kind of maybe like a flamethrower idea ordeal I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet that's still up in the air so that's debatable if I'm gonna go that far but definitely go check out the video where I unboxed these helmets and now we're painting. So I'll probably do a couple more videos with these helmets and uh, these are very short videos because it's, the paint job is real easy and uh, the other ones might get a little bit more detailed. I got some other ideas that I'm going to do. But uh, there's the helmet. I will model that for you. And uh, I've still got tape on this here. I actually I'm gonna take that off. I think. So there's the creepy helmet guys. Uh, I even put a bird on it. I put a bird skull on the top of this one. I might have to find another means of putting that on I did use some uh, Gorilla Glue but I'm not sure how well that's going to stick so I didn't want to put uh, hot melt glue on it because I knew that probably wouldn't stick it needs to be fastened down in there so eventually I'll probably end up doing that somehow or another I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet but that's it guys that's the helmet I think it's turned out beautifully uh, and I hope you do and we got three more of these to make um, We'll do them in another video, and as soon as I get the other costumes in, we'll start tinkering on them, making them kind of creepy and pretty and whatever it looks like, you know, like an old dirty welder or something, make them kind of creepy. So, there you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I know it's kind of short. It was pretty simple. It's just taping it off and throwing it. I used uh, this kind of paint, fluorescent green and yellow. And what I did is I blended it all together and then I hit it with some black and spots on the yellow and green. Just kind of make it kind of dirty. Now guys, probably what I would do if I'd done it over again is I probably wouldn't have used gloss paint. But I wanted to lock the other paint in so, you know, if you bang around it ain't going to hurt so bad. And uh, if you win this and you need to touch it up, by all means touch it up it's not going to be that hard uh, but there you go guys we hope you enjoy the video uh, please go check out the trio of terror facebook page and check out uh cobwebs and candlesticks and dave the weird kid check out their youtube channel they're always building something actually i think dave just uploaded a video today go check that out subscribe to his channel check out uh Keith at Cobwebs and Candlesticks. Uh, I think he's got some. He's got a couple things in, in, in the works, and he's not telling us. And he, and he should. He should keep his things secret from us. But anyway, guys, go check out their channels. Show them some love and support. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with all of our builds. And uh, stay tuned for our future builds. We never know what we're going to do. We sometimes we got something in our mind that we're going to go make time we get up to the garage we're like now nah, we're gonna make something else so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video and as always you don't have to be perfect just build it